what is going on y'all it is juco back with another tutorial in this tutorial i got some section 8 chi chi type of vibe i made a whole beat from scratch i got the whole loop i'm gonna break down for you guys and the beat the drums the bounce everything it's some it's definitely some like section 8 chi chi type of vibe y'all gonna definitely fuck with this one this is probably my hardest honestly probably one of my hardest beats i'm breaking down on like a tutorial like i said i got so much content on the way we about to hit 1k so i really appreciate y'all and hope y'all enjoy the video let's get straight into the breakdown all right so starting this breakdown off the first sound we have is a little like dark little pattern right here i'll play you guys the midi real quick so this midi was pretty simple we i used mellotron which is like one of those uh it's by arturia it's a really cool synth plugin i used the butterflies preset in mellotron it's a super simple key preset um with this melody i kind of just like took little notes and yeah made something little bouncy and then right here as you could see uh on the four and five bar i dropped the note to instead of it being here i just went to give it like you know like more of like a little baby type of vibe so it doesn't it's not too boring and consistent throughout the whole uh bars i had to switch it up a little bit but once i got to the five i literally just copy and pasted it and it was pretty simple overall and nothing no, no changing with the velocity and yeah that was it for effects i put some halftime on it put some reverb uh some eq of course and i put up some portal on it uh in the um yeah and just some por a quantum portal preset portals really fire moving on to the second sound it was just a copy and pasted pattern of the first midi and i'll let you guys listen to the midi right here so another super dope sound uh same midi of course this sound was called the dark minded sound once again in mellotron so another cool bell pad type of sound key type of sound um i eq'd a ton of the lows and highs half time 30 percent reverb a little bit of reverb a touch of reverb and some more portal on different preset So this this uh, brass was in Session Horns Pro, which I'm sure you guys know about. And if you don't, then this is probably like the most most used brass uh, sound bank, whatever you want to call it. It's in contact. It's a cool bank. Recommend it completely. Uh, as far as the brass, I just took a chord, which was like these three notes, and I just uh, pitched it another octave up, as you could see what I'm highlighting. And then I just made these little stabs to give it some more bounce, like which I usually do. And what most people, what I always say to do in like brass uh, melodies is like give it some little stabs. And then I dropped it right here, obviously to match the chords from the first melody. And then I just repeated it. Super simple, super simple, and super consistent throughout the whole pattern. Uh, as far as um, effects, I took a lot of the highs up and I took all the lows out. So yeah, a little bit of halftime, and then some reverb as well. So this brass was in Roland SRX brass. I've used this brass in one of my other tutorials. So if you guys have watched them, you know about this uh, VST already, but I really like this uh, sound. Uh, this trumpet is fire. And yeah, I really recommend it, but it was literally the same MIDI, so nothing to really explain. As far as effects, took some lows out, boosted the highs a little bit, and put some reverb. So with this piano, I just followed the, the root notes of the melody I already had made. And this piano was the Nair Pure, basic pure piano. Uh, I've also used this piano in some of my tutorials, so I'm sure you guys know about this piano. No effects, didn't, didn't really need anything on the piano, but yeah, that was it. So 
So it was hard, but I kind of thought, like, I was like, it's a lot going on in that loop. And if I want to add drums to it, like, you don't want to do too much. And I felt like there was a lot going on. So I rendered it. And I ended up pitching it up two, semi two semitones right here. Once I did that, I reversed the whole loop. So that brass sounded really hard reversed. But then I went and basically, I took the brass and I time stretched it halfway. So I, like, if you look at my mouse, it was originally like this. And then I did it, I did this to it basically, the top loop. And then it sounded like this after. And this was only the brass part of that loop, basically. I like all the other parts I really didn't take and I just took that brass part. So then from there, what I did is I made a, I made a pitch down part, which is this right here. So once I did that, I then rearranged the loop how I wanted it and then it sounded something like this. So at that point I was like, okay, that's hard. Now it's a lot more simple. I can definitely hear some like hard drums on that, but I wanted to add something really quick. So I took this flute from, I took a flute from Mellotron once again, I'll play you guys the MIDI just to kind of like layer on top of what I had already. So it was the Jaquist, I don't know what, Jaquist tat, tie or some shit. I don't know what it's saying, but this was the flute preset and then I'll let you guys listen to the MIDI. So yeah, that was the flute. For effects, I added some reverb, some EQ, and another portal effect. So yeah, I had to add that portal because it made it sound really hard. So once I, once I got that flute, I then bounced that flute, rendered it, and I reversed it and pitched it down and off. So yeah, that was the flute. So I thought it sounded way harder reverse, especially because the whole loop was already reversed. So I had to kind of like match the whole vibe going on. So it's just it just it just matched a lot better. So then I ma I bounced that with the loop I already had, and I put those together. And then what I ended up doing is pitching it up another semitone, and this is what the final loop sounded like. I was like, oh yeah, that shit is actually ready to go. All right, so for the drums, uh, if you guys have heard Chi Chi beats, like there's a lot of stuff you could do really with Chi Chi type of beats. So what I ended up doing is this is the clap pattern. One thing I forgot to mention is before I rendered the loop, I actually slowed it down to 116 BPM. Like most of the loop, I was working at 130 BPM. I ended up slowing it down to 116. So yeah, claps pretty simple. Uh, as far as my master channel, all I do is, uh, I put, there's an EQ, a soft clipper, and I kind of like boost the highs a little bit. And then for my melody, of course, I just EQ the lows out. So I kind of wanted to go with like a bouncy feel for the hi-hat. So I kind of, what I did is I like changed how the pattern was instead of making it super boring. I put stuff here and I really messed it. As you can see, if you look at the velocity, I did a lot of messing around with the velocity. That's what gave it this little like bounce. So that's what I like to do. And then as far as the rolls, it's pretty repetitive after the five, but, but yeah, that's it for the hi-hats. Now we got the 808 pattern. I'll let you guys listen to the 808 pattern. So this 808 pattern was not too complicated. Uh, as you can see, we got the 808, just a normal pattern. What I did here is I like kind of gave it that extra bounce. I put this little 808 right here, 
which is not too common you hear so it kind of gave it that interesting bounce and then obviously at the end what I did is I, I made this little roll and each separate note I would just pitch up an octave to give it like that chi chi like section 8 type of like roll thing if you've heard their beats that's what they do a lot so yeah of course we got that now moving on we got the snare pattern I'll let you guys listen to the snare pattern So yeah, for the most part, the snare is pretty simple. I just had the snare hitting on every clap. And then I did little snare rolls at the end of each kind of like bar. And with the snare rolls, I lowered the velocities of each roll a little bit. And then at the very end of the nine bars, I like got this little like, like long roll going on to give it some like more high, like bounce. So yeah, the last thing I added was this open hat. So yeah, that was it. Now I'm gonna play you guys the whole beat once again, just to wrap it up. And yeah, this is gonna be the this is gonna be the uh, beat right here, last final beat. So yeah, that was the beat. Once again, I really fuck with this bounce, the loop, everything. I think about this beat was really hard. But yeah, not too much going on after that. That was pretty much it. Drums a little complicated. You can say whatever you want, but I think this shit hard. If you guys, whatever you guys thought about this beat, let me know in the comments. I might or might not have an FLP in the bio for this beat. Um, once again, I have a ton of kits on my page. It's in my, all that shit's in my bio, my Instagram, my website, um, my email. If you want to contact me, all that's in my bio. I got a bunch of kits on the way as well. Um, there's kits on my page if you guys check those out as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.